Hey guys, how is that for a video beginning? Huh? Did you like my did you like my beginning? A little long, but hey, you know, it's featuring my newest project, um, which I've already started since I recorded my first clip. Now, this is all about my newest project. It's called Mickey the Cat. Who gets the credit for that title? You got it. Rachel from Treasure Studios Art. That's right, you guys. If you don't know who, sh who uh, Rachel really is, then you need to start watching a lot more of everybody's lives. Because Miss Rachel comes into the lives and uh, and she visits and she's awesome and if you don't know what Treasure Studio Arts is I'll link it down below and she's from Australia and you guys really need to check her out because she has an awesome awesome site um she does customs now I've said this many a times, you guys. My channel's all about customs. Okay? Um, yes, I will do a... Once in a while, in a blue moon, I will do a... a painting that is not a custom. I did order a few for the holidays that are not customs. Although, I might surprise you and throw in a custom. You just don't know what you're going to get with my channel now, do you? Okay. So, as you know, I've been designing my own projects. This time I got help from a wonderful person. Her name? Rachel Treasure from Treasure Studios Arts. Now, I sent her from, as you could see from the beginning of my clip, I sent Rachel a poster that I designed. Now, uh, I'm not above taking a little criticism, but she does have an idea. When I do that, she has an idea of what I'm looking for. And then she can take my idea and run with it. Okay? But she's awesome at that. As you can see from the final result what she took from me and she produced herself with her own hands I'm telling you you guys she can create you a custom like no other okay now if you don't know she also says on her site that she can do rest restorations of of, of photos she can from now Rachel if I'm wrong at this you can let me know in the comments down below she can if your eyes are closed she can open them if you're frowning I take it she can make you smile that kind of thing sorry guys I feel like I've got I've got little bugs in here I had the fan in the window yesterday and I've got these little bugs flying around in here and they're landing on my nose and they're flying up under my glasses and stuff so if you see me wiping that's what I'm wiping <laughs> I'm wiping the bugs away okay bugs too early for bugs no it's not not here <laughs> okay as you guys saw from my introduction this is the poster that I'm talking about okay and you see up here this magical little word uh, for phrase she has here we create magic need I need I say any more she created some magic for me and she put the sparkle in my eyes because she knows this little guy means a lot to me enough that I took a bunch of photos of him and I sent them to her and she put them into a poster now I call it a poster. You guys call it a painting. What's the difference? Okay. Okay. 
Now, there will be a clip following this clip of the unboxing, and it was really super long, so it's going to get choppy because I'm going to try and cut a bunch out, okay? I'm making this ahead of time, so there's things I'm saying in here that are in there that I'm just going to try and cut out of there, okay? Now, everything, I want you guys to know that this painting costed me, and I'm just going to give you a guesstimate, I'm not going to give you exact. Right around $67, $68, $69, somewhere in there for this painting. But this painting actually costed a whole lot more than that, you guys. Now, I don't know if I'm right here, but I'm going to try to let you guys know that if you watch some of the other presenters, creators, and their videos you'll get to know real quick like the ones who represent treasures treasure studios art okay and they have codes that you can use their code to get 20 percent what is it like I don't know between was it 10 and 20 percent off um something like that okay now rachel came into nana of seven crafts live one night and she announced that she would give a 20 percent off for every for anyone who wanted to have to to get to order a painting now it did not have to be cut it she didn't say nothing about customs she just said a painting so in other words off of her site any painting off of her site right well I went in and asked her could does that include customs and she said yeah sure and I said well I would like a custom made of and, and uh, I sent her my poster uh, the picture of my poster I would like to know if I can get a custom made of this poster and she wrote me back and she told me what she felt was needing to be a little changed and turned around she told me that a few of the pictures were a little stretched and they were as you could see from my rough draft at the beginning of the video then when you seen the one that I that I actually sent her the one in the center um, you you see what she saw okay and yes there were a lot of them that were really stretched um she told me it if i could send her all the pictures from the poster any painting off of her site right well i went in and asked her could does that include customs and she said yeah sure and i said well i would like a custom made of and, and uh i sent her my poster a, the picture of my poster I would like to know if I can get a custom made of this poster and she wrote me back and she told me what she felt was needing to be a little changed and turned around she told me that a few of the pictures were a little stretched and they were as you could see from my rough draft at the beginning of the video then when you seen the one that I that I actually sent her the one in the center um you you see what she saw okay and yes there were a lot of them that were really stretched um she told me it if i could send her all the pictures from the poster she would try and fix the ones that were stretched and um recreate my poster but she told me the background was way too busy and as you can see from the clips in the beginning yes the background was very busy it was very very busy and she said it drowned it out the kitty and it did because your eyes went straight to the background not to the cat right so when you saw them pictures where did your eyes go 
they go straight for that background they don't they don't go to the kitty okay what you want to notice first is the cat so I'm learning from you miss Rachel I'm learning from you now Rachel I want to send you some more work but I'm, I'm going to continue to make my own little posters and then I will send them to you and then you can tell me what you feel needs to be tweaked or turned or whatever you go ahead and critique me I'm fine with it but I'm going to continue to do that because that kind of gives you kind of an idea of what I'm after for that photo okay um my next idea that I have for a project for Rachel and this is depending on between these next two that I'm going to show they're depending on um, it's going to depend on my points now for those of you who don't know nothing about Treasure Studio Arts is that you can get she has a point system you can earn points by doing things in her in her site like friending her like friending face friending her uh friending treasure studio art treasure treasure studios art on facebook friending treasure studio studios art on instagram friending them on pinterest although i can't friend you on uh, pinterest i'm hurt on that that one um because i can friend you on that one through my diane account but i can't friend you that one on my dixie account as they started going through my cross stitch folder um and they started sending me strikes against my cross stitch folder for stuff that I couldn't control for, my understanding of Pinterest is that you find a prod you find projects and you pin them right and that's what I was doing with cross stitch now I found out that for now on I will never ever start I started up a new account through Diane which is my middle name I started up a project through Diane with Pinterest but that folder is no longer visible to the public um, I restarted a new cross stitch um, folder I just do not have it visible to the public on account of I found out that cross stitch is the one thing that gets continual strikes um, copyright strikes and the strike doesn't go to the person who pinned it or to the person who put it on Pinterest it goes to the person who's pinning it and I feel that's wrong I feel that's backwards um, so I was getting without knowing it I was getting continual strikes and to the point where they finally just um, completely locked me out from even being able to be on Pinterest so I tried to fight it but to fight it no matter what I did to fight it I couldn't win so I just gave up and just accepted the fact that I won't be able to do Pinterest from my original name so I do Pinterest if you ever looking for me on Pinterest I do Pinterest on Diane Huseman so I use my my middle name and my maiden name for my Pinterest account now so but I I can't link you through Dixie I would need to link you through Diane I would need to like you through Diane but that probably won't give me the points so um that's the only one I cannot do for you Miss Rachel um, but you can earn points for um, reviews you can earn points for buying paintings from her you guys and she has really cool things like you can put the points towards mailing you can put it you know through shipping 
and she did have to start charging the USA for, for shipping because shipping went outrageous for her there. And so I see her point, and so she gives us points that we can use toward shipping, but after my shipping experience with Mickey, I don't know that I'm going to waste my time trying to do shipping. So therefore, I'm going to, oh, excuse me, you guys, I'm going to earn points. My points are going to go towards my paintings. So that's where my points are going to go, um, just towards getting a smaller cost on the painting. Therefore, most of my cost is going on the shipping. So that's what I'm going to go for. That's what I'm striving for. So with that being said, I'm just kind of kind of let you guys kind of have an idea of where I'm going to go in my channel from here on out. Okay. So where I'm going to go now, Rachel, and depending on where my points lie, if you know, after I get the points for my review video, um, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try if I've got enough, because right now I'm at that $35 coupon mark I'm trying to strive for the $50 one and so hopefully with points from this video I hope I'm hoping that I can get to where I want to go with this this photo sitting here but for now saying that without the points from this my next project is probably going to be this one. Now, this is pictures of my babies. These are my girlies. Okay. Alicia's the baby here. She was one. This was her, her first birthday. Um, she was one. Uh, then I've got Bonnie in, in the brown hair here. This is Bonnie, child number two. Uh, I'm going to call her number two for a reason, and I'll point that out to you in a little bit. Bonnie, child number two, is three in this picture. Tabitha is four. Tabitha is my oldest. <coughs> now, where I'm going to go is I love these two pictures, but for different reasons, you guys. Look at the facial expressions. Like Alicia's smiling big in this in this one. And Bonnie and and Tabitha and Tabitha's got a bigger smile in this one. Bonnie not so much. But in this one, Tabitha's got a big smile. Alicia lost or Tabitha's got a half smile. Alicia lost her smile. She's got a dot the, the look doesn't she look like a doll in that? The, her pose in that don't she look like like a fake doll I just love that and then Bonnie look at Bonnie's big ass smile in that one so for that reason because I don't have a smile in this one but I have a smile in this one and because I have two smiles in this one and and no smile two smiles and no smile in this one two smiles and a big smile in this one no smiles into <laughs> I got that all backwards. Okay. You get what where I'm saying. I would like to know if you could put these together, but could you mirror it in a way that they're not both facing the same direction? Can you mirror one? So in other words, Alicia would be facing Alicia, Tabitha would be facing Tabitha, and Bonnie would be facing Bonnie. But I would like them side by side. But I would like them. But I would like them. With a, a different background. I would like to know if you could put in. Because I love color. I love color Rachel. So I would like maybe. Either balloons. Like multicolored balloons. Like different balloons. Or. Or. field full of different colored flowers 
or if you're going to go with a single color flower, maybe make it like a um, flower that matches closest to their, I don't know, to their, like, I don't know, I really like color. So like a, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, but you get my, you get, I think you understand what I'm talking about. I would like something colorful in the background rather than just these ugly trees, okay? Um, I'll let you come up with a background for me, um, like, or maybe like, um, like, or maybe like a solid color with little, like, uh, sparkles or flashes or, um, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you, Rachel, but tell me your thoughts on that. Um, the other one is this one. Now, you guys, this is my favorite photo because this photo, you guys, is a photo, uh, a family photo. It's like one of the only family photos that I have um, where me, my husband, and all my girls were there. Um, my mother saw this video just before she passed away, and she loved my, my facial. She loved my makeup. She loved my hair. She couldn't believe how thin my face looked in in this in this photo. Um, it was just her her favorite photo of me. Now, guys, here, you guys. Age 60, age 60, I will be 60 in October, guys. Age 22, 23. Let's see, Alicia was one, Tabitha was four. I was 22. I was 22 in that picture. So you're getting a 60, 22. Twenty two guys. Okay. Now, Rachel, this picture has water damage. This picture has creases. When you say you can restore pictures, can you take out water damage? Can you fix this water damage down here in this bottom corner? That's a little bit on Bonnie's face. You can see the crease. See the crease? There's also one up here at the top. See the crease up there at the top? Let's see. See it, Rachel? See the crease? Can you remove the creases? Can you remove the water damage down here at the bottom? Can you fix that little face right there? What happened, what happened, Rachel, was, and then Raymond's got a spot on his face. See the, see the white dot on Raymond's face right here? It stuck to the glass when I was trying to pull it off, and it pulled off a little bit of his cheek. So, Rachel, can you fix that stuff? Um, email me. Let me know if that's anything you can do. Now, my daughter, Bonnie, number child number two, and this is why I said I told you that I would bring child number two back into the picture here in a minute. Bonnie, child number two, says she has a wallet-sized one, but it, too, has a wrinkle or a crease going down it. Um, although she says it doesn't have the water damage. But could you tell me how much you charge in an email, how much you charge to fix photos like that? Um, 
and can you fix it and turn it into a diamond painting for me because I would like to make it a really big one I would like to make it you know what I'll let you let you let me know what size you feel would be a good size um, to where to where I get really great detail Rachel but keep in mind I love color and with the $50 off I would like it to be as colorful and detailed as possible I'm willing to save that picture for the $50 off so that I can actually pay to have a really excellent quality diamond painting out of that photo um, but I would love to keep you see the let me touch you guys down here just a little bit Rachel do you see do you see the background do you guys see the tree I love the starburst in the tree from the lights I love that I also love let's see here I also love which direction here the candlestick on that fire I love that whole fireplace the whole fireplace the picture above it the stockings on it I love everything about it I love everything about this this photo except for the fact that it's got that dang what see the water damage Rachel see it on on Bonnie's nose there on her cheek her chin um and then the rest of it's down on the bottom parts of their outfits here it mostly got most of Bonnie I got Bonnie's little nose up here and a little bit in her cheek over here and then they got this damn crease that runs down this is the only photo that I have left of these girls that I have left of this particular photo um I had it in a frame and what happened was one winter when the kids were sick I was running a vaporizer not thinking that the water could get up behind the glass um, but that's exactly what happened you guys somehow and be careful if you're running um, vaporizers in a room where you have photos hanging because somehow the moisture got up back behind the glass and this wasn't even in their room this was out in a dining area um, but I was walking by it one day and it was sitting on a bookshelf and I was walking by it when I noticed that it was running in the corner down here that, that, that it was running and then I could see that it was starting to affect Bonnie's face and I went to take it out and that's when I pulled a bit of Raymond's cheek off here so Rachel Tell me, how much do you charge to fix a photo like that? Can you fix a photo like that? Can you email me or can you um, can we chat about it or something? I mean, I would love to get with you and pick your brain on what the cost of something like that is. And if I save my points and I get to that $50 coupon or I can't remember if you had one higher than the $50 I will gladly wait until I can get as much as I can off of the painting to have you fix the photo and then make me the painting do you see what I'm saying here okay with that be said you guys I'm gonna tell you let's get on with the rest of this video now this other video I did the day it came now keep in mind I wasn't feeling well but I was excited um, and there are parts of this that I'm repeating here that I repeated from there I just wanted to make it more clear than I did in there so I'm going to chop some of those parts out because you already have it here okay so you guys stick around and watch the next clip You guys, stick around. Watch the next clip. Hey, everybody.
everybody, it's me, it's Dixie, uh, Crafting with Dixie. Sorry you guys, you haven't seen me for a while. I have been very ill. Um, I was going through a situation um, where I had a very bad cough, horrible cough, and uh, off and on fevers. And uh, so I... Um, went and as soon as uh, Nebraska started up last Monday with uh, uh, COVID testing I this past Monday um, I as soon as my daughter informed me that they were doing it um, she sent me the link and I got me and my husband in we were like one of the very first ones in Nebraska to get tested um I filled out a questionnaire and it came back that we needed to be tested so um, we were tested I got the test results back and we were both negative um, they want to retest me again because I'm the one that con has the continual cough um, my husband seemed to have gotten better but I have not um, I am feeling a little bit better but it took me to after I tested negative uh, the the day that I got the test results back I went to take my daughter a Mother's Day plant um, and I told her because of my cough I was not going to um, face her but that I was going to place her present and her card I was going to put the card in her mailbox and the present on her porch and ring the doorbell and walk away. And she waited for me to get down by my car, which was quite a ways from her house. Um, she waited for me to get down by her car. She opened the door and she said, Mama, don't go just yet. And she, I said, your card is in your mailbox. And she um, pulled it out of her mailbox. She was like, oh, Mama, you're so sweet. And then I said, look down because she wasn't looking down and I said look down and she looked down and there was this big bushy uh, pretty flowery plant and it had like it was weird because you know how most plants have all one color flower well this one had pink flowers on one side and orange flowers on the other side it's, it was uh, but it was all one tree bush flower it was like a bush like a hydrangea kind of like um it was different and uh, she looked down and she was like oh mama you didn't have to do that and I was like well I thought it would be because you know, she just got this new house and I thought it was kind of like a Mother's Day housewarming type thing um, so yeah you're probably wondering what this is guys well anyway I I'm, I uh, ended up having a, a, a really bad um, coughing attack right there in front of her um, and I couldn't I couldn't catch my breath and I was coughing so hard and it was just like continual one right after another like I couldn't even catch my breath and all of a sudden I felt like a pop in my right lung and um, then I couldn't even take in any any breath of air or anything and uh, I came home and I, she made me promise I would come home and straight away call call the doctor so I promised her and that's exactly what I did I called her and um, doctor said that um, I told him that I, I had tested a uh, uh, COVID negative and uh, but he didn't want to trust me coming into the office so uh, he he called me back with a prescription he had already called in a prescription for an antibiotic so um, I'm trying to get better but this so yeah I ordered this back in uh, I believe I went to order it back in February 3rd um, but that was right after I had my surgery on my on my elbow um, I don't know if you guys can see it but I had surgery on my elbow right here and um, I ended up needing some meds right after the surgery and so I 
contacted this very nice sweet lady and asked her that I, and I'll explain it to you more here in a minute and asked her if I could um, pause this now this is a package from and it doesn't say on the box doesn't say on the box so I had a, and as you can see it did not come in good condition now I had to take the outside plastic off because I did not want to bring that into my home and risk contaminating my home as this thing has been in the mail for almost two months um, about a month and a half and um, it sat in well according to my um, tracking that she sent me it sat in it, it did good getting from China to to the United States it was when it got to the United States where it got all screwed up you guys and it, it sat in New York forever and she it wasn't till yesterday um not yesterday but um tuesday when i contacted this is a package from rachel from treasure studio art so so from rachel treasure um and this is a package from Treasure Studio Arts, but you can't, it doesn't say it on the painting. I thought it would say it, but it doesn't say it. Um, but like I said, it came in this condition, you guys. Like the bat, the box is completely wonky. It's got big old gape and holes torn into it. Like, like right there and like right there and the... It, it's been crushed so much that the ends are like this uh, this ends this hands holding up a little bit better but this end not holding up worth it at all like it was crushed to the point of just it just was like this when I when I got it it was just all like opened up it I mean it's mangled like it came in the worst condition but I call I contacted Rachel on Tuesday and I I told her that I felt like it was lost like I told her I I mean they both the company has already asked me to review it and I can't review a product I don't have in my hands yet you know and so I contacted her and I said well Rachel I have a feeling it's lost is there any because you know I said the um, tracking that you gave me she gave me two different tracking um, places and she wrote me here about a month ago explaining that I'm going to see it bounce from all over the United States before it would come to me. And so I, and she asked me to be patient and I'm patient, I'm a very patient person and I've been patient and I didn't say anything, didn't say anything. Well, when I got that notice from her the other day, I thought, okay she must think I have this thing already so I better contact her and find out what's going on so I contacted her and I said Rachel is there any way that you can find it from your end because I've tried calling around on my end and I wasn't getting anywhere and um like she texted me back the very next morning because I sent it like Tuesday evening she contacted me back. I had an answer back from her when I turned on the computer on on uh, Wednesday morning. And she said that she had her agents working on looking for it. But for as far as she found, um, she said it was pretty much stuck on her end too. She was seeing the same thing I was. Um, but she managed to find out as much as that it was in California. So I made it from New York. It sat in New York. Um, from what, from what, I, um, she gave me the tracking number. It had been in New York 
Ever since she gave me the tracking number. And it said it had already cleared customs. But that's as far as it got. And, um, and it hadn't moved in like well over a month. And I was like, well, shoot. Um, and so she said she had an, an agent working on it, but that she wanted me to still get a hold of. She said the track, she gave me another tracking number and she said to try and get a hold of FedEx, or not FedEx, uh, UP, U, UPS, and um, she gave me the number for UPS. I think she meant USPS, but um, I called UPS, and they said it, they didn't have no such tracking number. That their tracking numbers start with an LZ or something like that. Something Z. Um, I was like, uh, the tracking number I had was this long and it had no Z anywhere in it. And uh, But I did start up a loss claims with them because I told them that she said it was US, UPS. And um, they said it might have been one of their other carriers. So they said they would check, they would, you know, they would put it in the lost and found thingy and she, they would try looking for it. Um, that was, I filed that yesterday afternoon. Well, by this morning in my email box when I woke up and I turned on the computer and I, I was checking my email box and it said there was a package coming, but it didn't say what it was, that it was coming, it was uh, a message from USPS, so the United States Postal Service, and it said that they found a package that they were going to be bringing it. Um, I thought they were referring to the dryer part that I ordered three weeks ago, and because I wasn't expecting anything from from them, because I because she said UPS. So, I said, well, we'll have to wait and see. Well, my husband said, well, he's getting off the mail truck, and he's got a painting in his hand. And I said, a what? And he said, you know, one of your paint, paint by number kit things. I said, oh, my diamond art? He goes, yeah, your diamond thingies. He's got one in his hand. And it was pretty mangled in his hand, too. And uh, the outside bag looked like it had been big old gaping hole ripped in it and like they had tried retaping it and everything else so it was a mess so this is what was inside the, the package and then, like I said this is how it looked when I got it so let's check it out what do you think it is your guys are gonna love it it is a custom that Rachel had did for me um oh wait something else in there oh yeah my beautiful uh, uh, it's I've been always admiring these and as you can see it says treasure studio art on it um and it's the pretty little organza bag and let's see if I can open it. Let's see if I can open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Can't wait to see because I've been waiting forever for this. Now, let me tell you something. I designed. I designed. The, I designed a poster similar to the one she's got here. Only mine had a few more cat pictures on it. And I had to put. I had found a background that I kind of liked. But she explained to me that the background was way too busy. Now, she also explained to me that several of the cat pictures were way, way overstretched, that she could fix it. And I said, no, that's okay. I said, the ones that were overstretched, I didn't care for anyway. Um, I just told her, you know, that's okay. Let's just forgo, you know, I'll just forgo those. I'll just send you the ones that I like. 
And um, so I sent her all the pictures of the cat pictures that I had on there that I liked. And then she chose from those which ones she would use. And she redesigned my whole poster for me. Um, but what you get in her little bag here. Let me lay that out. What you get is her, their pink tweezers, which I have not had, but it's the rounded tipped. Hang on here. Let me, let me focus you guys in just a little bit more here because I have a manual focus, you guys. But as you can see, it is a, the rounded tip tweezers. And you want to always make sure that you're putting your cap back on. And what I like so far about her tweezers is, is it, it's it got the rounded. It's not pointed. It's actually rounded. Now, like what I had went and did with my other pair of tweezers that I got from Pretty Neat was theirs were more pointy at the tip. And so I took the scrunchie because I don't use these. And I took the scrunchie and I fitted it to, to the tip of the, I cut the tip off. And I took and I put one small layer of double-sided tape around. And then I just pushed this on over and then squeezed it down. And that it has not come off ever since, you guys. And it, what it did was it allowed padding um, because when I would place my, my diamonds, it would hit me right here and I would be all raw. Now, if I find that using these does the same thing, although I don't think they will because that is rounded and it doesn't feel sharp at the back of my hand at all. So I think I'll be fine with these. We'll have to wait and see after I get to using them. But yeah, I pick square paintings because I enjoy placing each every little diamond with tweezers. So 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 you get the rounded tipped tweezers in her kit. You get a clear pen with what looks like a nine placer. And then you get the single placer. And I love the clear, crystal clear pins too. Um, you get the squishy that goes on your pin. You get a nice size square piece of wax. It's actually two pieces, but haven't been broken apart. So, um, oh, good. I need, I need. You know, you know, Rachel, I use nothing but three placers. I really don't use these nine placers. And I don't use this. This looks like, what, a four or a five? I was wondering if it says on there anywhere. No, it doesn't. But it, it's either, it could be a six. That does look like it could be a six. This... It's my favorite placer of all, and that's three placer. And none of the projects that I usually do have areas where I would use the really big placers. So I love the three placers, so I'm glad that you gave me a three. Um, because three is all I use. And... I will be putting it on Crashly's other pen, but uh, I must I must have it over there in that container. But this is the pen that that Ashley made me with the elephants, and I usually keep the placers on here. But I do not always use these um, to place diamonds on my square paintings. I use it for the rounds. So, uh, that's what you get, and then you get your funnel boat. It's, and you get your nice funnel boat. Not, what I kind of like is that it seems like the edges are not as slanted on this boat. The, this boat's edges are straight up and down, which I like. Because all the other boats that I have, they have the slanted 
Well, I've, I've got beads in all of them, but look at the difference in the bolts, you guys. These, well, it's bigger, too. I like that. Look at the difference, the size difference, you guys. So her boats are bigger. I love that the, the edges are straight up and down and not slanted like this. All the boats that I have all have slanted edges in my beads. I've traced to my daughter who I just talked into doing diamond painting as well. So, um, so yeah, I could use a few more of these trays. So I really like this tray. I'd like to get an Archer Arch tray just to try one, but that'll be some other time. I had spent... I had spent more than enough money on diamond paintings. I think I'm going to have enough to finish out for the rest of this year. Um, so let's get on to this. If if you can see what it says here, it says Mickey the cat. That's my kitty cat, you guys. It is a 70 by 90 centimeters. And Rachel did a awesome job. I didn't I haven't got to see it up close yet, so we're going to get a close-up view of my diamond painting. But let's see if I can get you a better view of Mickey the cat. Or I call it my Mickey poster. Guys, this is awesome poster. You're going to love it. But there's this for what you can see. You'll see it better here in a minute when I lay it out. But there's my Mickey. Okay. So, let's lay this out. It's a monster, you guys. It's a monster and it is square. I can just say I know there's more diamonds in there because I can fill them. Look guys, two packages of diamonds. I'm gonna be in diamond heaven. Alright, let's let's let us let us lay Mickey the cat out, shall we? Lay Mickey the cat out. And take a look at his beautiful poster. Now I will. My computer crashed two days ago. So let me see if I can find. I wonder if I have one in my phone. So you guys, Rachel is awesome. And any 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 picture that you, you know can come up with she can you just have to send her your, the pictures and give her kind of an idea work with her and give her an idea of what you're looking at now like i said i sent her a poster that i created and um she took it from there and she created this you guys so this is my mickey poster that Rachel redid for me and I'm not so sure you guys can see it very well but uh, that's the Mickey poster that we're looking at um, Let's see if this one shows up a little bit better. Hopefully it's not looking like the light shining on it too bad, but that's what she had come up with. Now I sent her all these cute little um, snapshots uh, from off my phone. They're kind of like Snapchat pictures um, of with bows in his in, on his head and he's got this one here is really cool because he's got like a little lipstick heart on his cheek and you guys can't see it very well okay but we'll get a closer up look of, of it right here okay so 
I'm going to flip it around here because my desk is, this is like too big for my desk, you guys. This is the biggest poster um, diamond painting that I have had made up yet. Now, I have an even bigger one coming, you guys. So, like I said, I am pretty much set. I have two, two big ones coming and a smaller one. So, I am set to clear up through Christmas. And if I get my Victoria's Moon one, I'll really be set. But, yeah, let's take a look at the canvas, you guys. Oh, and Rachel, I love how big your schematic is. Your, the schematic, um, the, um... Not the schematic, but the, um... I'm drawing a blank. Um, key. The key. But you guys, let me take you for, for a ride. Okay. Check out this here key. Look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause you for a minute, and I'm going to see if I can um, get a little more light on here. So hang on. I'm going to pause you for a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, now, the light didn't help all that much. It helped a little, but not much. Now, um, the colors on here look kind of um, muted and kind of faded, but I guarantee you this will be very bright when I get it done, um, and I'll show you what I mean when we get to the diamonds. But... Um, Hang on here. I'm not getting a full picture like you guys are, so let me. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm ta I'm doing this at night, so I probably should did this in the daytime, but I couldn't. But here is the first one um, in the bottom corner, and he's got a bow in his hair, and she put this cute. She put these cute little bubbles back behind them, um, and as you can see, he's got. A little um he's got a pink heart lipstick heart on his cheek hair and then he's got blush on his cheeks so that was the first one and then there's this one where he is a cowboy and he's got a he's got his holster and his gun and his holster he's got his cute little cowboy hat on and he's got his scarf on around his neck. He's got a bandana on. And then he's got this star starburst um, bubble behind him with the stars coming off it. Okay. And then um, she's got this beautiful purple background behind this one. She's got this beautiful swirly background and this is similar to like what I had but the one I had was very close together very um, the colors changed a lot this is more um, subtle and it draws him out like she said the background I chose drowned the kitty out whereas the background she chose brought kitty more towards the front so this is the picture that she chose for a close-up just a normal picture of him so that will be just his normal pick. And then this one up here in this corner is he's got heart glasses, heart sunglasses on. And his eye comes through the eyeglasses. And then you, you get the, the heart shaped here of the glasses. And um, and then he's got this like rounded bubble behind him on that one with like flowers off to the side I, I think they're flowers or they are they might even be like little clovers and then there's this one and this one here he's actually got a toothbrush so he's he's brushing his t he's brushing his teeth and he's got his hair up in one of these hair scarves on top of his head kind of like what I dream uh, I, I love Lucy wore in her shows he's got like that and then, like I said, and he's got a little blush on his cheeks here, and he's got this cute little smile on, and he's got 
a toothbrush here. He's brushing his teeth. So hopefully that'll come out when we get to doing diamond painting. And then this is the bottom corner here. And this one here is actually one I posted in one of the um, chat rooms. Um, I posted, I think it was in Crashly's tra uh, chat room, where uh, Mickey came up. And in this picture, actually, he was laying on one of my diamond paintings. And um, she, she was able to remove the, the diamond painting and that. And she just got him laying here on the corner. So it's just a big close-up picture of him laying here on the corner. So there's two normal shots of him. And then there's the snapshot. The four Snapchat shots. So this, see, this is kind of like the kind of stuff that you guys, I designed something very similar to this, and I will see if, if I can retrieve it. I'm not so sure that my computer, I'm not sure what my computer, I found out that because I had all my pictures to, the, to a cloud, that when my computer crashed, I thought my pictures were gone, and I found out tonight when I got my new computer all up and running that, that, that it was actually able to retrieve most everything. So I'll see if I can find the other picture. The, and in this picture, actually, he was laying on one of my diamond paintings. And um, she, she was able to remove the, the diamond painting and that. And she just got him laying here on the corner. So it's just a big close-up picture of him laying here on the corner. So there's two normal shots of him, and then there's the snapshot, the four Snapchat shots. So this, see, this is kind of like the kind of stuff that you guys, I designed something very similar to this, and I will see if, if I can retrieve it. I'm not so sure that my computer, I'm not sure what my computer, I found out that because I had all my pictures to, the, to a cloud, that when my computer crashed, I thought my pictures were gone. And I found out tonight when I got my new computer all up and running that, that, that it was actually able to retrieve most everything. So I'll see if I can find the other picture, the one that I did. And I'll show you the difference between the one I sent her and then the one that she designed for me. And you'll see what the difference is. And then, you know... She works with you very well on in between on you know telling you what she felt feels you know should be done um, what tweaks should be made but she gives you the options she lays out options and you get to pick the options that you think and um, yeah and this is the end result you guys so kind of I'll pull back. I'm not going to lift it because this thing is huge. So, yeah. It's a 70 by 90, you guys. Now I have another one coming that's a 90 by 120. So, not from Rachel, though. This one's coming from Pretty Neat and Creative. But this one is my Treasure Studio Arts. Um, Treasure Studio Art poster. And, um... I tell you, um, I love it already, Rachel, and I will be, I will be coming, you know, back to you for for more. But you know what, guys, I'm going to quickly flip this over so that we can see the diamonds without all the color. So I'm going to give this a flip so that we can see the color of the diamonds without it blending into the background of the picture. But now. If you do not like the crinkling sounds, you might want to mute your your um, volume. But there will be some muting or some sounds until I oh I see how they come out. Okay. And I don't care if they're out of order or anything. I mean, she's got them labeled here really nice. She went to a lot of, they went to a lot of work to get them in there, you know, pretty nice. Um, she's got a really nice uh, black and white uh, 
All right. So she's got the key in black and white here so that I can label my bags or boxes with the symbols. Um, I'm thinking that instead of putting these in boxes, because there's a lot of the, co of the colors, I think what I'm going to do is leave them in their bags and just, I'm going to just cut out the, these, um, but she's already got nice bold numbers on them. So I think what I'm going to do is just um, cut out these symbols. I'm just going to cut out the symbols here and maybe the number of the bag. Um, looks to me like there's 39 colors. Yes, and she did get it in squares. Good, 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 good. As I was say, because I got the... But yeah, so we got a beautiful green here. And as you can see, these are these are not the same. One is 9-10, one's 9-11. There's a slight difference in the coloring. So let's see if, if we can. Nope, that did not help, did it? Okay. So green, 9, 10, 9, 11. I'll be living the 310's life, 310 life, you guys. There's 310. And by looking at them, you know what? We'll do this. Where did her beautiful boat go? It's already got a Mickey. Look, it's already got Mickey fur in it. Hang on, guys. I gotta get the Mickey fur out. Mickey's shedding bad right now because of this, the the uh, weather changes. So let's take a look at the black here, because you know black is usually the one color. Let me turn it down. So as you can see, they look really good quality. I'm not seeing any knobbly bits or I'm not even seeing any trash. They look really good. That's the three tens. Look. Look at the Mickey fur. It's everywhere. <laughs> okay. Um so yeah, that's the three ten life. So that was 310. So we also we have uh, 3865, which is a a white. It's a it's a pretty. It's look, almost looks like Snow White. A 3866, which is uh, like a tan. Um, 3861. This is a very light violet. Thirty-eight sixty, which is a little darker than that that other one, so shade lighter. Thirty-eight forty-four. It's like a um, like it's like a vibrant blue, and so is this one. 3843 and 3844, so they're just a step off of each other. 3828, it's a like mustard brown. We have 3371, which is almost looks like black, but it's not. Kind of a brownish black. We have 3031, which is a looks like a violet, almost like a brown, but yet a violet. 995, so 995 is just almost the same as the other blues. 
but it's a little bit darker. 3072 is a gray. 956. 947. It's a very, very it's, it looks orange. It is orange. 947. It's it's a very it's a, like a very pumpkiny or, or like not pumpkiny. What what would you say? Kind of like a like a red orange kind of. This is a green 912 Christmas green. 3609. So it's a, a like a Violet pinky color, light a light violet. Um, thirty-seven ninety-nine is a dark gray. Eight nineteen is your like skin color. It's like a light pink peach. Eight eighteen is also used for skin color tones. It's very light baby pink. Oh, Rebecca, you would love this one because it's got a lot of pinks in it. 605, which is a light pink. We got 666. We got 606, which is a red as well. They almost look exactly the same to me. I almost can't tell them apart. I'm going to have to make sure that I uh, get the... Uh, get them symboled. Um, here's three pinks here. We got 603, which is like a carnation pink. We've got 602, which is a more of a purpley pink. Little darker color. 601, which is even darker. It's more of a dark, uh, I shouldn't say darker. It's more of a like brighter pink. Then we have 600, which is also they're all like a shade off. I'm going to love working on this one. This one's going to be fun. Um, 535, which is like a greenish gray. Kind of a gray with a green hue to it. 741 is orange, pumpkin orange. We have 524, which is a, a really green uh, gray. It's like a brighter green gray. Um, 208, which is violet. Now we're getting into all the purples now, guys. This is a, a 453, which is a very, very light, uh, very, very light hue of a purple. This one's just a, sh a tad darker, which is 452. It's just one number off. 451 is darker yet. The same color, only a little darker yet. Here we've got 347, which is a burnt red looking color. We have 333, which is purple. We have 210, which is a purple. And we have 307, which is a yellow. And I can tell you where that goes. That goes in Mickey's bow on his head. So. Now, just to give you guys a better view of what the poster is, here's the schematic in black and white. And as you can see, I'm going to tilt you up a little bit here. And as you can see, Mickey has the sunglasses on. You can actually see them a little better here. And the glasses are actually pink, you guys. So there's, there's him with his uh, toothbrush. Right there's his toothbrush. And here he is, is his normal picture laying on my diamond painting. Although she took the diamond painting out, but that's what he was laying on. And then as you can see over here, he's got the little heart. He's got the little heart kiss on his cheek. And then here he is with his gun and his scarf and his hat. And then up here is just his normal picture up here. Okay, guys, so that's, I can't wait to start on this. I don't know if I'm going to start it right away because I am still trying to get my other poster done. But it will be in line. Um, 
I am still working on Barney's uh, Diamond Dots poster as well. But I'm going to get to this as quick as I can, Miss Rachel. And I will let you know when I'm going to start it. And I'll, uh, I'm probably going to time lapse it. I'm thinking I might time lapse it um, as I work on it. I think it's because I got a computer with a hell of a lot more space in it so I can make bigger video. I can put um, more time lapse stuff on there. And uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to time lapse this one. The whole poster. I'll probably just time lapse the whole thing from day one all the way through. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. I can't wait to get started on it. I'll do the actual inventory on it here in a little bit to make sure they're all here. But it looks to me like they're all here. Matter of fact, I guess we could just count them real quick, like, couldn't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. And what did I say there was? 39. So here's 39. Okay, we've got them all. 39 miss rachel so everything should be here i'll do a more extensive one off camera just to ju double check i will check them off off my checklist but it sure looks like they're all here i am so excited to get started on it i love it to death i'm going to get off camera here and i'm going to go show it to my hubby who's been dying to see it um, but I wouldn't let him see it until after you saw it. So, um, yes, even though he paid for it. <laughs> well, actually, I paid for it with my money, but I had to use his card because I don't have a card. I do now because I went and got one. Get it finished cleaned up here tonight yet. But, yeah, so let's take one last look here, guys. Okay, I'm going to end the video here. I will link everything I said I would link in the description box below. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's fine too. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I know I haven't been on in a while. I've been ill. But I'm getting better and I'm coming back. I've got a few videos already taped and, and ready to release. So we're getting back on track. So um, so thank you for stopping by. Please hit the like. Please hit the, you know, please hit the subscription button. Subscribe and do me a big, 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 big favor and hit the notification bell. Um, and that will let you know whenever I release a video and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping by and I hope you enjoy my video this is the end of my video for Mickey the cat thank you